Oh, he finally decided to wake up. Yeah. You doing all right? Oh, babe. I'm sorry. Michael is running heavily. <laughs> Hi, Fia. When did you wake up? You look like you're in jail. Are you in jail? You ready to wake up? You ready to get out of there? Yeah. Look how Michael covers her like she's a bird. <laughs> but she sleeps a lot better and that and she likes she doesn't cover herself, so it does get a little bit chilly in here and I guess this keeps her warm. Hi! Did you sleep okay? She's like, Mom, get me the hell out of here. Alright, so the UPS man just came and brought me a Bath and Body Works box. Ordered this um, last week on Wednesday and I just got a couple candles. I think I've talked about this to death. Ugh, I can already smell it. The espresso bar candle from Bath and Body Works is my obsession at the moment. My house smells like that candle and um, the Glade scented oils, the apple and cinnamon one. So, so good. I just love when my house smells like the fall. So I picked up a couple more of those candles because they're having a, a semi-annual sale. And um, I ended up getting these candles with like a coupon code and everything. They were like $8 each, which is basically like I'm robbing the store because they're normally, they're normally priced at $20. So you know what? They actually did a really good job at packaging this. I've never, bought anything from them online and I was nervous because I mean it's candle it's in glass and it made it all right I only got two I got two of them so yeah I'm not that and I mean it's a summer scent so I'm not sure when it'll go like when they'll stop selling it Ugh, it's just, oh my god it just smells so good this is like vanilla coffee Ugh, it just smells like everything that is just right about life so i think that was yeah that was all that i got thank you for shopping with us okay, it is a little bit later in the day and right now i'm working on a couple of things dinner first of all um making some well i guess i can show you guys later but i've got some chicken working over here just boiling it up very, very, I just, I don't know. Michael doesn't really like boiled chicken, but Michael doesn't really seem to like anything these days. <laughs> totally kidding. Um, he is, or wait, what? I like to boil it and then shred it and then use it for stuff. So that is what is going on there. And right here, I'm actually working on a video for you guys. So I have, if this vlog is a little bit short, that's why. I'm actually um, wanting to get this video up by Friday at the latest. That's, it's kind of, it would be kind of dumb for it to be up on Friday, but probably Friday at, at the very latest. So, um, I'm not gonna show you because it's, I don't want you to like see, and um, it's a DIY and it's gonna be very fun. I'm having a good time doing this. So I'm gonna get back to it. I'm watching this movie. I always do this to myself. It's called The Innkeepers on Netflix. It's kind of spooky, but I'm kind of like confused at the same time. So. I don't quite know. I always do this to myself. I think I talked about this last week about how I believe in ghosts and stuff and how um, I've had some experiences. So whenever I'm here, kids are asleep and I'm doing something, I always end up, no matter what, I always end up watching a movie that has to either do with Christmas or something that's gonna freak me the hell out. And this is kind of a spooky movie. Uh oh, you weren't supposed to go down into the basement, chick. Uh oh, oh my God, oh my God. Anywho, I'm gonna get back to it. Oh crap, my hot glue is kind of going everywhere. Yeah, I'm gonna get back to it and you guys are gonna like it. Dinner is served. And this time I think Michael likes it, yeah? It's good, right? So yesterday I made something that Michael didn't like, so I wanted to attempt today to make something that he would like. That wasn't something that we had. Some cilantro and lime rice. No. I just hey. eat your food, babe. You have milk. 
All I did is I've got brown rice right here and I cooked it up with some chicken broth and then um, put some, some chicken broth and lime juice. And then once it was done cooking, I added a little more lime and put some cilantro. Avocado right here. No, nothing special, just half an avocado. And then right here, this might not look super attractive, but. It's like chile verde cream spinach. It's really good. What I did is I boiled the chicken and then I shredded it up. And then I put in some um, green chili, like enchilada sauce and with some chicken broth and let that like soak into the chicken really really good and then i put half a container of greek yogurt in there really really good shosha no it's gonna fall hey 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 crazy <laughs> i feel bad because she's not at the she's not included no don't touch that caca anyways this is really good i'm uber impressed because i was like ooh, that, i tasted it before and i was like ooh, to put some sour cream in there would be really good but sour cream is not what i for you so i was like ooh, but clean your ears it'll do the same exact thing and it did it's really good mm. wow that's from yesterday huh yeah that's from yesterday when we painted very nice. Good job. Now eat your food. Yeah. You have to eat your food, babe. Good job. Oh. You eat all your food, you'll get dessert. Yeah, he's been eating a lot better now that I'm making him sit at the table. It's nice. Eat it. So I am at Ross. Michael wanted to come over here to look for a new dress shirt. Sit down, please. Thank you. And um, I'm just looking around. Hey, I need you to stop your yelling, Joshua. Hey, do you want to go to the bathroom? Because you know what happens when we go to the bathroom. What? 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 The kids aren't really having it right now, but it's kind of something that Michael needs. So here we are, and I'm just looking around at all the home decor kind of stuff. Not really, I'm actually really kind of liking this. I just don't know where I would put it. I'm thinking of actually replacing the one that I have in my living room um, on the coffee table where I have like the candles and the hot coasters and stuff. I just don't think that this would be big enough. Let me see, candle. But I guess I don't have to put a candle there, but it is a big candle. Candle, coasters. I don't have to put the flowers on it. That's what takes up a lot of space is the flowers that I have right there. So coasters, candle, controller, remote. Hey, I guess it would fit. I would have to move those flowers as well. I so go to the kitchen. I guess it's an idea. Hmm. I will think about it. Again, I just don't know if I think. My living room is so kind of, I almost want to say eclectic because it's all just kind of stuff that I collected as time has gone on just because I'm very um, good at changing my mind and going in 30,000 different directions with something um, but it, for some reason I don't know and maybe it's just me for some reason it all just it all kind of works together so I don't know but I do like this oh I like this one though too this one's nice this is more flat so it'd be easier to clean but I like that this is like this is where all that stuff goes and it's it'll be contained. I wonder if this will scratch the um Oh I don't know. Damn it. No, don't take it off. Finally found some shoes that fit her. These ones actually are a little bit big. But they're so cute. How can I pass them up? They're pink sequins. Mommy doesn't even have shoes this fancy girl. These ones actually fit her perfectly. So I'll probably end up going with these because they're easier to put on. They're like little boat shoes. <laughs> And the Velcro right here. What do you think, Shosha? What do you think? She's like, oh my god, I love them. Where are my feet? You like them? You like them? Yes, yes, no, maybe. Yes, yes, no, maybe. And you fail? You got a toy to stare at, huh? Car. Yeah. He was screaming and screaming and screaming because he wanted to come to the toy section and pick out a toy. So I let him grab one. 
whether or not we walk out of the store with it may or may not be a different story but michael just walked out of the thing oh you know what i should have recorded it for you guys Ooh, these ones are cute too oh, look at these shosha a little diva we'll see which ones daddy likes yeah i'm just gonna start walking soon i can feel it damn it the way I really, like just with everything that she's been doing new lately i know she's gonna be walking soon so i don't i, I want to have some little shoes ready for her for when that happens you know what what else do i need for her oh my gosh this little bathing suit oh my god look at how cute <laughs> so there's an inch you'll be fine babe yeah okay hey just follow my plan, Foo, and you'll you'll drop weight quick. Poop. Yes, just poop it out, babe. Poop it all out. Birthday girl. Oh, it's almost Shosha's birthday. Can we get this for her? Uh -huh. yeah. It's almost her birthday. How cute. Sorry, they didn't really have anything like in her section that's her size. She's really weird because she's got teeny tiny feet. She, I don't know, she's just small, my baby. And I mean, she, considering that Michael and I are tiny people, I expect her to be, you know, somewhat of a smurf. So I'm not surprised that she's small. But I don't know. Okay, pose. I love, like, oh my gosh, this dress, babe. <laughs> Look at how cute. Shosha, my princess. I don't want her to get older, babe. I swear, it's just like two days she'll go. She was getting cut out of me. No. Oh, this reminds me of my grandma. Birds.